Hi everyone, I hope you guys are doing well and getting outdoors and enjoying your summer with the people that you love or that you like the most. This is Jessie here and today we're going to kickstart a little series that I am really enjoying and I hope you will too, so stay tuned. <music> This all started because of Instagram, I promise. I always blame everything on Instagram, but this was Instagram's doing. So I was just going through my feeds, swiping through, and there was one that I stopped at that was a woman that was very elegantly dressed. She kind of gave me like Anna Bay vibes, but she was like the casual version of Anna Bay, not the dressed up one. But she looked very chic and very put together, and she was really modeling her outfits but she had these like clutches and bags that she was using that I had never seen and they weren't like branded or anything like that. So I started hunting for a specific bag that she had that was from JW Pay. I didn't take a screenshot because it was like two something in the morning and I was just hunting for this bag. So I'm sorry, I don't even have an example to put up for you here somewhere, but just take my word for it. It was really pretty and it was made of canvas and leather and she tagged JW Pay in her um, hashtags. So it kind of led me down this rabbit hole. Long story short, I wasn't able to find the bag that she was wearing, but it led me to JW Pay's website where I have the first bag here that I'm going to go over. Now, the fact that I was hunting for this bag so intensely for a day or two, it changed my algorithm on Instagram and on YouTube. And I started getting recommendations from brands that I had never heard of. Now, you may have heard of JW Pay. I certainly did it. I don't know what rock I was under. But the cool thing about JW Pay is that they were founded by a husband and wife team. I think the majority, if not all of their bags are vegan leather. I, I didn't go through every single bag on their website, but they have such a beautiful collection of bags. So if sustainability and price point is something that matters to you, I think this is a great brand for you to check out. I picked up a bag myself. I picked up a, oh my gosh, I don't even know the name of the bag. I'm going to put it up here somewhere sorry but it's a beautiful canvas flat bag with vegan leather trimming and a contrast stitching now this bag you can find on JW pays website for $99 I think they have like um if you sign up for our mailing list you get 10% or 12% I don't know something like that on their website so you are able to get a bit of a discount but if you look up this bag on Amazon at least the day that I'm filming it right now it's $78 on Amazon. This one I got pre-loved from Poshmark for I think $47 or something. It was just a steal and it is in such a beautiful condition. Now we're going to go over the bag. We're going to try it on. I'm going to style it for you and show you some different ways that you can wear this bag. But first of all, let's do a little close up. There's a side it has like, it doesn't really have that much give to it. It's pretty sturdy. So what you see is what you get there. And then there's the back. And here's the other side. It does come with a strap that's not adjustable. And when I do the mod shots, you'll see that it's, at least for my height, it's not a good crossbody option, but it's a nice shoulder option. There's the bottom. I mean, this bag was in such good condition, I didn't want to pass it up. I don't know about everybody else, but personally, when it comes to canvas, or straw or raffia or anything that's made of natural material, I don't like for it to have a logo. I have maybe two or three straw baskets that I take to the beach or whenever I wanna wear a straw basket. And they're from Amazon and they've come out great. Now for the measurements, I'm actually able to memorize the measurements on the fly, but not the name of the bag. Anyways, this is 7.9 inches across. This is 6.1 inches high and this is 3.1 inches so it will fit your phone. It'll fit a couple more other things. I'm going to go ahead and turn you around now so that you can see everything that fits in this bag and we can get up close. So here she is. She is so pretty. There's a close up of the canvas with that vegan leather trim and the contrast stitching. Here's the bottom of it. The sides. And then that canvas kind of just wraps around and goes all the way back down. This is like a small little stain that the bag had. I did buy this pre-loved. But like I mentioned before, it doesn't really have a lot of give. It kind of just stays structured like that. 
Now to open the bag, you have to push this little mechanism in and then push the flap up. And there's the hardware there. This is all vegan leather, but it's really soft to the touch. As I mentioned, the bag comes with a cross body strap, but I'm gonna be using it as a shoulder strap because I'm too tall to wear this as a crossbody. But I wanted to show you all of the little details. It says JWK there. It has the little clips that sit on a swivel. And there's the rest of the strap, and then it has it on the other side as well. And the strap is pretty pliable. It's not a super sturdy strap. It's nowhere near as sturdy as the Louis Vuitton bandelier strap, just for reference. I'm going to put the strap to the side so that it doesn't get in the way of what I'm doing here. But I want to show you what fits. This is my iPhone 12 Pro uh, case. This is the way that I would stuff my bag so i would just have my phone right there and then i would keep this pocket free for like any receipts or anything like that next is my victorine wallet now i wouldn't put this wallet in this bag i have another alternative that i'll show you here because it just takes up a lot of space as you can see but i just want to show you that a compact wallet does fit very comfortably in here what i would use instead as a wallet is this compact zippered wallet from nason de sabri and it's a lot like the Louis Vuitton Zippy Coin Purse. It kind of has the same structure. I did a short on this that shows you what it looks like inside all done up if you're interested. But this is what I would put in here because it goes standing up like that very comfortably. And then with this room that I have here, I would go ahead and put in my Chanel Compact Mirror. My Chanel Lipstick. And my Lip Balm just like that i'm gonna go ahead and just throw in my key fob without the rest of my keys that fits in there and then my ray-ban wafers these are the foldable ones i like these because they're a little bit more compact so let's say if i wanted to put the key fob where my phone was and then put the sunglasses right up here that fits perfectly and then closing it up you'll see that it doesn't look bloated or anything like that and it's a really nice weight it's not really overly heavy now let's go ahead and try it on for size here it is as a crossbody option now i'm 5'7 about 150 pounds for reference and this sits way too high for my liking so since the strap is not adjustable i would rather much wear it as a shoulder bag and here i just have it with a simple all white outfit can't go wrong with that it looks so cute and here it is with a little bit more of a formal dress wearing it as a clutch and i really enjoy this look as well so that's my review on this beautiful summery bag from jw pay i have two more videos coming up from two brands that i am really excited to share with you guys and if you have any questions or if there's anything that i didn't clarify for you here please let me know in the comment section below and let me know if you own anything from jw pay because i think i was just hiding under a rock this whole time nevertheless i hope you have a great day and thank you so much for watching take care Bye.